was the hero? How was the hero? Um, gosh, it was phenomenal. Um, you know, we just refer to it as a trip of a lifetime for sure. And we're just so thankful we had the opportunity to finally go. Um, it was a trip that had been postponed for a couple of years due to COVID. And so it was, uh, it was a real blessing to be able to take our team there finally. And, uh, you know, in hindsight, this was the team that needed to go. We have so many new people. And so just to be able to go on a European trip like that, be gone, you know, for a week and uh, just be able to spend time together. I felt like we really got to know each other a lot and uh, we took some awesome excursions in another country and, um, you know, just enjoyed a lot of neat experiences together. And, and, you know, we're hoping that that will, you know, be something that our players talk about forever, but for sure, you know, we keep talking about it throughout the season, things that happened that were really awesome, things that we enjoyed. And so just really grateful we had that opportunity, but it was uh, um, just a trip of a lifetime, just exceeded all expectations for sure. I haven't got to talk to you since last year. So, uh, you know, one of the big countries face girl of basketball obviously is Claire Graham she's on your team what's it been like getting to know Claire you know in, in an ACU Wildcat uniform compared to a gym Indian uniform yeah um uh, fun fact I've known Claire since she was born um I grew up with her dad and uh, so I've known Claire for a long time and uh, she used to come to our camps as a little bitty girl and spend the night in the dorms and all of that. And um, she is from Gym Ned, and you have to be pretty selective when you recruit players that are like in the big country area because they're going to bring a lot of fans. Uh, a lot of people are going to come in with high expectations. And so if you're going to recruit a local player, you need to make sure they're going to be able to play and make an immediate impact. And, and that's what Claire's done. I mean, you're going to see Claire in our first game. Like, she's really um, earned a lot of respect from the staff and from uh, her teammates just because she plays super hard. Um, her dad played football here and so she's kind of an ACU legacy I guess now and um, her parents are just really proud that you know she's able to go to school where they did. Her mom also graduated from here and so she's kind of dreamed of being an ACU Wildcat and it's been so much fun uh, just coaching her and getting to know her as a, a college age student and um, she's made a big splash on our team. I think we have really enjoyed her um, on the court and off the court as well. She's got a big personality and uh, she's she's been a welcome addition for sure. You uh, lost some key players, uh, Mraz, uh, Jamie Bonierens, Emma Middleton. Uh, I asked the same question to Brett Tanner with his three that he lost. You know, what's that like finding those new, putting those pieces together for a week and two days from now for your game. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of people ask, uh, what do you have to do to get into coaching? And I'm like, major in psychology. Um, you know, so much of what we do is about just motivation, inspiration, about figuring out, you know, what buttons to push to uh, to reach your players. And uh, we graduated six seniors and it was a lot of experience. And uh, we have nine new players on our team and they're very talented basketball players. But, you know, they feel super confused right now. They don't have that many upperclassmen to learn from, to watch, to be the example. And just their experience playing Division One basketball is very little um, at this point. And so, you know, we've got to be patient as a staff, just implementing things and making sure that there's a lot of clarity so that they understand, you know, exactly what we're trying to get out of a set play or what we're trying to get out of a defensive philosophy. And so, um, you know, it's it's been a struggle, I'll be really honest, just because there's so much youth and um, you know so many new players when you play even one season together you kind of have this chemistry out on the court and so it'll take a while for us to you know kind of figure that out but I will say we've got um, a lot of big personalities they are fun you know they just crack us up all the time uh, they are playing really hard um, we had a scrimmage yesterday and it was a mess in a, a lot of ways just because we're playing so fast we're not reading the defense well but um, I'm not one to pump the brakes you know I'm like we're we're going full steam and we're trying to score early in the shot clock. We're trying to rush the other team. And so there's a huge learning curve right now. Um, and I think most of it is just, you know, we graduated so much experience. We're super young. And so, you know, like I said, I think as a staff, we've got to be really patient, but we need to be very um, clear with our directions and our instruction. Um, we're happy about where we are right now. I mean, we knew that it would take a little bit longer to put things in and, and kind of, you know, find a feel on the, the court, but we, we 
like where we are right now. And um, the games are coming up pretty fast. So we need a, a little more um, separation, I think, with some players and figuring out lineups and uh, rotations and things like that. But we, we've got some time, you know, to, to kind of figure that out in the next few weeks. So this Thursday, there's Moody Madness with all the students coming in and being able to get excited for the season. So heading into that, what what is your feelings about it, the coaching staff and like your players' feelings about that? About Moody Madness? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we're so excited. Um, you know, with playing over in uh, Teague the last couple of years, we just haven't had an opportunity to really do anything really fun like that and gather a lot of people, but I hope it's standing room only. You know, I hope not just students, but the ACU community will come out. I know that our marketing promotions game day people, they're super excited about all the plans that they're making and think it's going to be a really fun event. And so uh, we're, we're excited to, you know, have something to kickstart our season. And this is a season to jump on board to be Wildcat basketball fans, to come and experience Moody and uh, start establishing some new traditions and newly renovated Moody and so um, we're we're very thankful for you know all the work that's already been put into Moody Madness and uh, we think it's going to be a big a big event. Yeah uh, we've already talked a little bit about this already but you have um, only a few returners versus like all the people, newcomers coming in. How um, since you're about a month into practices now at this point um, how have those returners been helping your new players and kind of trying to figure out the system? Uh, yeah, their their role on our team is vital. Just from their experience, from uh, fostering the culture of our program, for being the coach's voice in the locker room, uh, jumping out, running drills first, um, explaining things on the sideline. Um, you know, they're they're totally invaluable to us. Yeah, and then week in two days, first game, Howard Payne. You guys have played Howard Payne multiple times over the past few years, so. I know it's a little early to ask it, but what is that matchup looking like for you guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, we have a, a game coming up next week. Uh, we're excited to play our first game in Moody for sure and expect to have a big crowd for the first night, um, just kicking off our season. And, um, you know, we, we still have a few days to focus on ourselves and then we'll really delve into a scouting report for our first opponent. But just excited for the season to start and um, still some things we've got to work on and, and get some clarity on. But, um, but I think our first game is going to be really good.